Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Right Honorable Moses Wetangula, the Speaker, and all protocols observed. Your Excellency, I came to Parliament 10 years after Honorable Duale had uh, joined Parliament. And uh, it was quite admiring to share a plenary with Honorable Duare because we had, you know, we were used to seeing him on TV, on debates, and in political scenes, in political rallies. But there are two things that Honorable Duale used to tell us as new and young members of parliament. Number one, he told us that never forget your family. I remember him telling me that do not leave your wife for whatever reason. And today when I see you seated next to your wife, I see truly you live by your words. Number two thing that Honorable Duala used to tell us, Your Excellency, is that government does not lose. At times, things could be very challenging in the flow of the house. But he would say that you cannot lose. And he was very sharp to the extent that when situations were challenging in the flow of the house, he would be smart enough to withdraw when he does not have numbers in the flow of the house. You know, fast forward, Your Excellency, I have learned that the things you would say are the things that I need to apply now. That as a leader in the National Assembly, I have an obligation to make sure that the government does not lose, even when it's unpopular, <laughs> that it will not lose. And by the way, it's important for me to state that even as at now, as the Cabinet Secretary in the Executive, he still finds time to call some of us and remind us that, remember, you're a leader in the National Assembly, and government does not lose. Please do not lose. Although, Your Excellency, there are times that I questioned myself on really what friendship is in terms of politics. When Honorable Duale was hosted from office, at the very week he had pushed government agenda with zeal, that very week he was actually ejected from office, unceremoniously. But of importance is the way he behaved even after that. He took his back seat, was still contributing in the floor of the house, you know, but he stood his ground. That shows that when you believe in something, then stick by it. And that is what you've learned from you. But in copying the words that Honorable Duale said, Your Excellency, I believe you also owe us a book. And I think it's important for me to say this. We need to know what happened in 2002, that you only left three of you behind Uhuru Kenyatta when you lost in 2002. And I think I need to know that. Then years later, like Honorable Duala said, in, at Bomas, of course, there were issues. But what happened at the holding room before you came out? Because what you saw is at the plenary. But there was a holding room. You, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, and His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. What were you guys discussing about that made Uhuru laugh all through when Right Honorable Raila was making his speech? Those are the things that we need to learn all through. But in conclusion, Your Excellency, with the fact that government does not lose, I also want to assure you that even the finance bill will pass. Government does not lose. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Silvana Sosoro. And now to Environment CS, Soipan Tuya. Karibu Waziri. Your Excellency, uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Excellency Deputy President, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, uh, Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, Cabinet colleagues, um, members of the diplomatic community, uh, members of Parliament, and uh, everybody here. Clearly, I did not know I was going to speak I think it was by design, but uh, first is to congratulate my brother, uh, Honorable Duale. Um, I'm a mentee of Honorable Duale. Only that I, I don't, I'm not as loud as he is, but uh, he has taught me a few political tricks uh, during our 10 years uh, 
uh, period together in parliament. And uh, he actually came to my rescue during the infamous, the eyes have it. He stood by me um, when the speaker was somewhere behind uh, the speaker's seat and all my colleagues in the speaker's panel had uh, deliberately absented themselves from the country. And I was called from maternity leave to deal with a very tough task. Um, and from uh, interactions with the Duale, we had a few, uh, a small chit chat before I went to the seat. And uh, the rest is history. Uh, the other day I saw it replayed and uh, that's one of the th tough, tough, tough uh, things that we had to, um, through thick and thin, make sure that uh, uh, government uh, business was passed in the House and not to say that we did anything wrong with the verdict of the highest habit. It's, and it's a story for another day and I'm sure probably for another book. And I'm hoping, because I've not yet read the book, that uh, uh, Duale's, uh, Duale might, might have done an account of the true story behind the eyes of it. Uh, with those few remarks, uh, Your Excellency, I will uh, uh, buy the book and, and also have a f I have a few libraries, about five of them, that I'll also buy, so I'll buy six books and put some in the five libraries and I know Many young Kenyans are going to benefit uh, from your leadership. Thank you very much. Thank you, Waziri. Uh, up next is uh, his cabinet colleague, Kipchumba Murkomen, the cabinet secretary for transport. Karibu, Waziri. <laughs> 